what is going on everybody devinator here back again and today we are starting our playthrough of journey to the savage planet before we get started just a few things uh to start uh be sure to follow me on twitter at devinator17 and uh follow my uh facebook page devinator gaming on facebook i said that already also be sure to check the links in the description out for uh my partnership deal that i've got going on with mall energy right now helps me out if you order some it's great product uh great way to replace those sugar filled and calorie filled energy drinks it's a great healthy option that actually is probably better than those energy drinks uh and definitely better than some other <laughs> we know what we're talking about here you know what i'm talking about some other uh gaming energy or supplements that are out there on the market also be sure to check out my tiktok i do make some tiktoks from now uh time and time again that'll be linked in the description as well as my patreon cash app if you're wanting to donate to the channel and help me out a little bit that would be greatly appreciated now let's go ahead and hop into it now i've uh wanted to play this game for a while and i do believe it's on game pass so we're starting out with this a single player um kick it old school with limited lives yeah we're gonna go just the normal way to enjoy the savage planet so this will kind of be like i mean a, a playthrough uh kind of a first look i hope i finish this i don't know if i've finished a game on this channel since i've started but hopefully we do uh looks like everything is working good everything is recording the way i want it to and this is kind of a little bit of a lengthy loading time but the music is kind of cool the music is kind of cool but how are we all doing today hopefully you all are staying safe out here in this quarantine i know we have we haven't really done a whole lot we've been just kind of hanging out the house here we go here we go where are we going automated flight summary uh-oh i'm gonna turn these uh i'm gonna turn the triggers off of this I don't feel like I'll need that. I don't think it's too competitive a game. Just kind of okay. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, so President I've gotta... and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. I've got to invert my y-axis. Okay. For almost thirty years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand this guy's got the confines of earth bad haircut bad haircut my dude many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration the fourth company. best not the best not the second my best the, the fourth best manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates to our line of athletic footwear and what? survival apparel we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars. Our next step is to I don't know if this is required. Exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. We're going down Our here scientists. though. Uh Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog okay. its creatures, threats, and opportunities. And send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. Okay. You discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner. We got a partner. Oh, we don't have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the objects. What the heck? But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped. Hey, we have a we just we just figured that out. Well, there's nothing in the world I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you could rejoin your loved ones, should you have any. This remains impossible until you find a suitable fuel source on the planet. Okay. New trip, new mission. I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. Okay, so we can view this in our journal. Okay, use your scanner to document the planet's ecosystem. I have been sent to this world. Blah blah blah. Oh, this is the survey of the planet round trip. Ongoing budget issues combining with attempts to cut weight in the shuttle. Mm, 
Okay. Okay. Well, how in the hell do I get out of this? What? <laughs> Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Okay, so is that... Where is that at? Is it over here? No. 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 Please take the questionnaire on the computer. Okay. Otherwise I can't open the door, or turn on the lights, or feed you. Okay, so we on this computer now. We loaded it up and booted it. New report. Okay. It looks like you made it. Good job. As poor your kindred employee experience program bit of its contract, you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. Okay. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state and as space sickness One has of been this an issue for some <laughs> other recent explorers. Why Would does that look like somebody off the of Tiger King? This gallery of faces? We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be this dude. Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna be this I'm dude. Super glad you're not crazy. Uh, this is the end of the report. Enjoy your adventure and stay alive. Okay. Okay, now open and the now door. You're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new place. Let's do it. All right, achievement. Colonizer. Set foot on ARY26 for the first time. I guess that counts as an achievement. Inventory full. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. <clears throat> this mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Um. Okay. So basically, we're just. This seems pretty like. Seems like it could be open ended. Where is the exterior hatch? Back here. Yeah. This thing don't freaking work. This seems like kind of a goofy game. Oh, well, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. Okay. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. Okay. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. Then you can collect stuff to make the stuff in the blueprints, and that stuff will help you survive against the stuff you took pictures of. I don't know how to... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. That's not supposed to look like that. So we just scan the crap, huh? Is that it? Okay, no. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. <laughs> this game seems like a little bit of a goofy game. So hopefully we can get somewhere and do something. Uh, okay, so this is... Missing panel. Whoa. 
well done. Okay. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. Okay. The javelin is basically intact, but Sweet. in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. <laughs> oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Yes, mark it. So now we need to go this way. Well, this seems like a pretty straightforward, it's going to tell me what to do game. And I'm glad because if not, I will get I'm lost. I'm detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. Okay. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Hey, look at that. You picked up Sweet. some carbon. Good for you. He slimed nice me. Work. He covered in ooey gooey alien guts. To craft a basic nomad plasma pistol. The three D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. Okay. What's this do? Nothing. Um, okay. But I need to go back to the, the thing. So this seems like a pretty goofy game. Honestly, like right now, pretty decent. Seems pretty straightforward. It's not like, uh, it, it seems like it could be somewhat, um, somewhat, like, open worldy. But it seems like it's pretty much go here, do this. And you return to I like that. You automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. My meaty claws. Crab, the grab and go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier. With yeah, I, can we stop that? Okay, so I can print this gun now. I got my first yeah, weapon. Got a weapon. The single most important colonizer how do I how do I equip that I, I don't understand how I um maybe I do it outside of here okay um Shoot your way out of the ice caves. Okay, so maybe I gotta go out here. Maybe it'll equip it when I go out here. Okay, yeah, it does. Temperature 92 degrees. Biosigns nominal. Nope. Excellent. Okay, so it looks like I gotta climb up this. No. No. Oh. Okay, so that's how I reload. Well, it seems like a pretty straightforward game. It's very, very pretty. It's very colorful. It's super, like, full of life. It's kind of cartoony, but, uh... It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower moving above you? Like, super... I only because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan says there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact this your This looks like a giant pile of crap. One moment, please. I am detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please okay. scan it. <laughs> hmm. 
orange goo. I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be oh, more that's gross. I ate it. attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am what adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. I'm just taking some of this carbon. I received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Okay. Please return as soon as you have a moment. But it's a super, like, it looks like a huge world, and, like, there's going to be plenty of stuff to do. Yep. <clears throat> Jelly Wave boss Basin. Holy shit. Okay, come on, stop, stop flying. Excellent. Okay, I think I killed them all. I got some more stuff. I got stuff for killing them. Silicon. What's this? Oh no. I think that heals me. Okay, that heals me. So this is like the verdant wilds of Zill. So I just want to scan everything. It thinks you're gonna kill it. Oh, how accurate. What? This game is wild. Like a normal puffer, but wrinkly. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. No. Okay. This game is like super as weird. Much as you may like to make the attempt, the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not. The cartographers have found a okay. deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. So it does seem like kind of open worldy, but uh <clears throat> more of in a sense of I'm gonna be able to s explore and uh So I can't go that way. Oh no. No, so, I'd like to go back, please. Thank you. So, I need to get over there. Okay, right through here. Excellent. But that's where I need to go. I'll reload this. So, this seems like pretty fun, honestly. And I'm happy I'm playing it. I'm glad I'm, like, experiencing this with... You guys, it's pretty cool. So now we're gonna go over here. Oh, these things are dangerous. They don't like me. I gotta collect my resources. All that juicy loot. Nice shot. Thank you. A bunch of stuff. Aluminum. I wonder what all kind of stuff I'm gonna be able to. Oh, Okay, I see what this bait does now. Okay, okay. So you toss it, and then they come to it, and they chill there, and they eat it. Tying crystals of madness. I don't see anything different than... Okay, hold on. What's this? Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. 
If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm okay. working on a blueprint for you now. Glimmering Cave of Wonder. Let's go to the right. We've got about 20 minutes. Uh, we'll record for about 10 more. Oh, yes. You've discovered Grob's hidden anti-nutritional value. Okay, so I killed them. What's this? Smash this rich up deposit. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of carbon. I'm sure I'll be able to use that for something eventually. I wonder if this game gets, like, harder. I hope it doesn't get too, incre like, incredibly hard. Oh. What's this? Glowy. But maybe useful, too. Okay, now I've got a flashlight. No. What's this? Nothing? Oh, no. What happened? No. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? It's unknown how I... Um, Come on. Okay, okay, okay. The heck is this? Precarious shrine. Okay. I'll just kill these things like normal then. Oh, these things fight back. These ones, uh, these ones are not happy little birds. They don't like me. That's how I get back up there. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like the slide ability. It's pretty nice. Oh. I made it. Extract and analyze. This is a pretty cool little game. I like it a lot. I'm disappointed that I didn't play this a little bit sooner. I wonder if there's fall damage. So now I'm going to go back and I'll probably end the episode once we get back to the little plane. Sucks we didn't slide all the way through to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and collect as many resources as we can. So once we get into this plane, we deposit everything. It's saving my profile right now. So I can technically end it right here, I think. But we're going to get back to the plane and end the mission there. How far away is it? Oh, not too far. I don't know what that is, but... I mean... What's this? Okay. Oops. It's a silicon vein. Yeah! Yeah! Give me all that. 50? That's awesome. Oh, this game seems super freaking awesome. Uh, not gonna lie, first take of it seems really nice. Anything? Looks to have fallen from the nearby tower at least 400 years ago. Chim chimney, chim chimney. It's goofy, and I, and I really like it. It's like kind of cartoony action adventure. I, I really like this. Kind of like, I don't know. It's it's a whole bunch of different good things so far. And I'm really enjoying it. At first it was semi-confusing, but it might be just because I'm kind of bad at games. But this has been, this is a, 
These things are freaking hilarious! I freaking shot it. What did it give me? Some silicon? Nothing crazy? That thing's freaking hilarious. A canopy leaf. Nothing outside of that, though. And I mean, everything else I kind of... These things are freaking hilarious! You freaking shoot them and they start screaming like crazy. Hilarious. So I think, back up here, we can... I don't, I don't think we can scan any of that. Excellent. Oh, there's another one. Better reload there. Oh. That's some orange goo. And that's a carbon vein. Go ahead and take all the carbon we can. So we can dump it into the, the spaceship and save. Yeah, this game, super fun. If you haven't played it yet, it's on Game Pass for free. And I would highly recommend you play it. It's super fun. It's a bright, colorful world. And I knew it was going to be a bright, colorful world from what I'd already seen of it. It seemed like just a really bright, fun world. It seemed excellent. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Um, as soon as I return to the javelin, I can craft my new gear. Okay, so I've got to go to the javelin. Which I guess is this way. I didn't remember it being this far out. It just said that it was not that far. What are those? Wicked. I'm going to check and see. What is this? Now that's metal. Oops. That thing you picked up looks disgusting and squishy. And, and bouncy. bouncy. Alright, I'm... I don't... So I just need to keep going this way. This is the way! And... And once we get inside here, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to check out the links down below as well as following me on social medias. Uh, and that's all I got for you. I hope you guys did enjoy this part one new series alert for Journey to the Savage Planet. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.